I can't see how we can get anyone to care about this. Bring Hemmings to my office. I used to love sports. Grew up an athlete. Football, by which I mean soccer, track and field, basketball, you name it. I remember the time spent watching tons of La Liga and the Premier League. The non-stop debates about the National Basketball Association. But these days, I don't pay much attention. I do what I can, but I'm not plugged in like I used to be. I'm currently working on my third official case. I know this series is special, truly one of the greats. But how? How do I get others to realize this? This is Detective Hemmings, codename Paperwork, the literary detective. Welcome to case three, why you should be watching and or reading Ace of Diamonds. Are you a huge baseball fan? Do you enjoy major or minor league baseball? I myself primarily only watch football, by which I mean soccer and basketball, though I do not watch the NBA nearly as much as I used to. I have a newfound respect for baseball as a whole from top to bottom, all thanks to a Japanese baseball themed manga written and illustrated by Yuji Terajima. Sports manga and anime seem to be a hit or miss genre with most people. Either you love them or you hate them. Popular sports series like Kuroko no Basuke builds upon the popularity of basketball and by paying homage to a well-respected classic, Slam Dunk. As someone who's consumed hordes of sports manga and watched a ton of sports anime, there's none that have quite done it like Ace of Diamond in my opinion. There are other fantastic baseball series such as One Outs, but I truly believe Diano Ace is unrivaled here in the baseball realm and sports genre. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hit the like button with your baseball bat should you enjoy this recommendation video so I know to make more like it. Now, let's slide to home base and dive into this topic. Diano Ace is about Ajin Sawamura, the best pitcher from his middle school on a doomed team. I mean, they're pretty trash. After a scout sees him pitch, he's invited to a well-known baseball school away from his hometown, his family, and friends. Upon arrival, he's thrown into the chaos of trying to be a varsity player for Sato High School. As he's lived his life being better than all the people in his area, he's quickly humbled when thrown into the heart and pinnacle of high school baseball in Japan. A lot of sports manga series suffer from having a main character that's virtually unstoppable. Kagami Taiga from Kuroko no Basuke who gets random power-ups mid-match and can jump out the gym. Then you have Echizen Ryoma who's never lost an official tennis match on screen from Prince of Tennis. Those would be some examples that come to mind. In Ace of Diamond, the reality of there is someone better is quickly made apparent even with the vigorous amounts of effort and training one can put in. Everyone has things they specialize in and certain things they are not good at. Or you can have all-rounders, jacks of all trades, but masters at none. You can either strengthen what you're good at or attempt to fix what you are lacking in. Diano Ace has completed Act 1 and 2 as of this video, with a third act possibly coming eventually. But we want more! We need more! One thing I found very refreshing about this story is how hard it is to start. Sawamura really had to earn his position as the starting pitcher and even then, he could lose it at any point. That all being said, he is a valued member who has a never give up attitude and gives the team a positive vibe, but he's not overpowered. Although he's stupid and unrefined, which his upper classmen never failed to beat into him, literally. It's a breath of fresh air to see a sports series that does away with all the ridiculous powers, unstoppable main characters, to get a well-grounded series and a relatable baseball narrative. 
respected, lengthy series that continued to do well take its time establishing its characters and building its world accordingly. Ace of Diamond doesn't rush into official matches, but instead takes its time with tryouts and several chapters of the team practicing and then some exhibition games. It captures the true essence of nature of playing sports on a team, rivalries, companionship, and competitiveness, though you're still a brotherhood. Not everyone can play, so each and every day, a player has to go out there and do their best in order to receive recognition from the coach. The training sessions are engaging, hilarious, and focus on team chemistry building. Even characters that may not get along eventually come to respect each other's roles on the team and what they bring to the squad. The characters are probably the best thing about this animanga. Each character has a ton of character depth and impressive development throughout the course of the series, including rival teams. Moving forward, no player, no matter how talented or filled with potential, can play amazingly every single game. There are outside life factors that may affect your in-game psyche, or you can just have an off day. It happens, it happens to the best of us. The opposite is also true. Some days, you're on fire. You're in the zone and you feel like you cannot be stopped. I can't express how perfectly this anime and manga captures that concept. One of the characters known as the monster rookie on Sado can be on fire one game, but then suddenly be struggling in the next game. He might be striking out every batter in one inning and in the next inning, he's not doing so hot. The physiological and psychological aspects of sports is well presented here. Pressure, expectations, those do or die, go big or go home moments. Did you throw a pitch and their team just hit a home run? Now you're in a pitching slump. That could last a few games. And in addition to that, their team morale is now higher. Worried about an injury? You might have to play through the pain. Did you just sprain your right ankle and now you're overcompensating by leading to your left foot? You might mess up your left ankle trying to protect the right one. No other manga has been able to capture this truth of sports as well as Ace of Diamond, though I can think of other sports that do it well. Haikyuu, for example. And I can 100% say that Ao Ashi does a fantastic job at this as well. It's the best football manga and anime out do not argue with me you suck you fucking suck you're not good you're not good at what you think you're good at you suck shut the fuck up you suck go do something else the in-game matches are intense and the story makes a conscious effort to explain the game and any obscure rules of baseball the suspense the matches create can have you at the edge of your seat. The emotion and intensity of the players are brilliantly captured by the artwork and expressions on the characters' faces. This goes for the anime as well. Madhouse and Production IG work in collaboration to make the anime. Now as for the actual writing itself, it's just a story about a high school team trying to win a championship, so it's not particularly deep in that sense. It's straightforward, which is fine and that allows for other story elements to shine. For example, character growth. In conclusion, Dino Ace is the true embodiment of brotherhood and the realism that comes with playing on a sports team. It has intense matches, great characters with depth, splendid artwork, fantastic animation, and tons of humor that will have you spitting out your tea. Whether you decide to read the manga or watch the anime, You've just hit a home run. I think I ended that one with a bang, wouldn't you say? You might have thought it was corny, but I know these YouTube people eat that shit up. They love it. But I'm going to go get me a good night's sleep, a good night rest, have me a drink or two. Because no matter how many cases I solve, how many things that I put on the map, the job never ends. There's always more work to be done. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Victor Bemmons out.